Now, we're talking about Lisa Stansfield being a legend. Oh, oh. Just, just stop right there. Yes, well, he is one of the most iconic fashion designers in the world. He's been doing it for 50 years, would you believe? Um, and whilst his shows are normally exclusively for VIPs, Jean-Paul Gaultier is now bringing his most iconic designs to London so that all of us can enjoy it yeah. this time. It's, his show's actually called Fashion Freak, and when you see some of his designs and you remind yourself of some <laughs> of your designs, you sort of realise where he gets his humour and his inspiration and everything uh, from. And uh, Jean-Paul doesn't just appear on any show. He thought he sent out a memo and he said, I want to appear with two of the most stylish, <laughs> television presenters in Britain. I'll say no more. <laughs> he waited till Holly and Phil went on holidays and he popped in to see us um, today. It's so, so the, good to see a you. pleasure to see you, my friend. Pleasure, pleasure. to see you. It's, yeah. it's, there's well, such excitement around the building today, particularly with our fashion team. They're all going, oh, he's my hero. Oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> 50 years. Can you believe it's been 50 years? Oh, can you imagine how old I am? But so you young in the art. Yes. No? <laughs> but you know, the interesting thing is, how old you are? I tell people how old you are. You're nearly 70, right? You're 67 years of age. Yeah. A lot of people, however trendy and fashionable they were in their youth, give up, don't they? Men and women, they, they get to a certain age and then they give up on fashion. Look at you, 67. Fashion's there for life, isn't Still it? Still for life, yes, but in another way, because that way it's like a fashion freak show. So it's a show, a cabaret show, kind of, you know. So it's like another version. I still, but what I am speaking about there, about clothes, because but it's, it's like my... your life, isn't it, really? It's my life, yeah. in reality, is what I try. Because, you know, I was saying, like, uh, to make a cabaret show, it's nice. Uh, it was my dream since before even fashion, you know, when I was nine years old, you know, because I saw it in the F Folie Berger at the TV, etc. I wanted to do that. And, but after I saw a movie about fashion, so after it was fashion, and it is still fashion, but always, always I wanted one day I will do cabaret, but it has to have a story. And which story? My story. Yeah. The story with fashion. It's an amazing story. And also, you know, one thing which is good is like, uh, normally it's like for a kind of elite, let's say, fashion show, you know, but there, with that, with that show, you know, I hope that they will have people that did never saw in real, you know, a real fashion show. We'll see it. And when you, you know, say it, it's about you and your life, is, yeah. is there somebody playing you or is it... Is it uh... There is somebody playing me. He doesn't speak because I don't speak that well, you know. So he will more dance and move and uh, you see it's him, you know. And where did this passion for fashion start when you were very... It started when... a passion for fashion, I like that. Exactly, good, it's yeah. nice. Yeah. Nice yeah. slogan, very good. Mm -hmm. But was it when you were very young? Did you always... I was clothes? like 13 because I saw it at the TV, you know, like an old movie, Falbala. And what is funny is like the star which was playing in it was a star of the 40s, you know, and she was playing, making like a, not a model, but like a woman that the couturier, the designer is in love with her, you know. And she it was a big star in the 40s, 50s, and now she is doing my grandmother in video. She's there. Yeah. She's 96 years old. Amazing. It's Micheline Prels, an old French and actress. And say, you know, all the designers were in love with her. Um, were you a bit in love with Madonna? Because you worked with her I was lot, in kind of. I asked her three times if she wanted to marry me. If I, if I could marry her, <laughs> more than that. She said, no. How important was her brassiere to you? <laughs> the conical bra? I think that first, we have a teddy bear called Nana. And because I wanted to have a doll, but my parents said, for a boy, no, 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 a teddy bear. <laughs> so I put like the conic bra I did in paper and put it with a pins like that, you know. <laughs> and after it was, so it was like a girl and I could dress her as a girl, you know. So it was a kind of transgender, yeah. first mm -hmm. one. And what about fashion now? You know, when you walk about, are you yeah. always looking for inspiration? You know, what do you think of fashion generally? See, my, the reason my wife asks you, as is quite obvious to look at her, my wife is a fashion designer <laughs> oh, as well. Not a designer, but I do, I'm interested in clothes and, you know... and She has her people, own brand. ..why people wear things they do and... I think it's interesting. You know, I should say that my inspiration, I have been very much inspired by London. I should say, always. When I was very young, more when I went Paris. there... Sorry? More than Paris? Oh, a lot more, because ba Paris is very snobbish and bourgeois. More than bourgeois is like, uh, always it has to be chic, etc. In London, there is eccentricity. So it's real, real, you know, people are speaking with the clothes, you know, so I love that. What you mean is there's always scope for improvement in London. You yeah. look at Parisian people and we all look at them and we say, they've got it. You look at us and you think, well, we can improve on that. It's like no. doing a makeover, isn't it? <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the only way is up. But do you like, Exactement. You, you, you like quirky. I mean, your, your designs were always quirky. They were always a bit out there. You were influenced by punk a lot, weren't you? A lot. And I remember going in the road of King's Road and seeing the punks, and I was like, my God, it's exactly what I like, you know, because I was working first in Couture in Paris. You pay Cardin and Jean Patou, an old house, you know, Patou. So it was always gold and beige is chic. <laughs> you know, I was like, uh, quite rebellious. It's a way, no, for me, not. I like black, also, I like, like things completely different, you know. And in London, there was that, you know. And the one time I remember, I was passing through King's Road. There was, of course, like, not yet punk. It was in 74, 75. And it was a Rocky Horror show yes. in the play, in a, not yet the movie. Yeah. And I saw, oh, my God, and, like, the poster is beautiful. So I want to see that. I saw it. It was marvellous. South Bank Centre... 23rd of July, which has passed till the uh, the 2nd of August. In a word, though, what is fashion? Not in a word, in a sentence. What is what is fashion? Do people think they haven't got it or whatever? What should they aspire to? What, in your mind, is quintessentially fashion? I think that fashion reflects the society, the times, you know. It's reflection of the time. It's not art. It's something that people can wear and expressing themselves through clothes, you know. Mm. I think, and you know very well how to speak. With your clothes in England. And if you could dress England. one woman in the world now, who would it be? Oh, Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> the Queen? Oh. Truly, oh, yes. She watches. She watches. Oh, she might, fabulous. Yeah. Queen, I admire her. She's yeah. so, like, a kind of... Uh, Kind of eccentricity, but so beautiful on the sense of colour. Yeah, she loves Which I truly her. admire. And she speaks through the clothes and through the accessory. I learned that through yeah. the jewellery, meaning something, We must introduce you to your dresser, Angela. Yes, we know the lady yeah. who dresses her. Yeah. We'll, we'll hook you up, we'll hook you up, Thank Jean-Paul. Jean Thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you, really it was a pleasure. Thank you, Thank you very you. much indeed. Always walk through the airport duty-free and his perfumes are everywhere. Yeah. There are always those, those little bottles, bottles and yeah. things. <laughs>